Today's quick tip is to put your phone to bed elsewhere. So you go to bed in one room and your phone goes to bed in another room. This is a helpful thing across the whole family. It's something that has revolutionized life in our household. So the idea might be set up a charging station and if like in our house we sleep downstairs, it's an upside down house because of the view, which is epic but strange that we're downstairs. Anyway, we sleep downstairs, the phones go to sleep upstairs on a charging station. So all the phones are together upstairs out of the way. Now, the reason why this makes a big difference is actually manifold. One, our phones emit blue light. You'll have heard this before. Our phones emit blue light and that kind of gets us ready for waking rather than ready for sleeping. So having access to our phone as we're trying to go to sleep actually kind of activates us. Also, some of the stuff that we're reading there might be stressing us out or getting us thinking. So might be chatting to friends on social media or reading the news on, online. And you know, these are not things that are conducive to sleep. Next is the fact that when we've got our phones, like they are properly wired up to be like totally addictive, particularly all the stuff on social media. We've got some of the best brains in the world sitting in Facebook HQ and Instagram HQ and Twitter HQ and all the other HQs going, how can we keep people engaged? How can we make them keep on watching the next video? I mean, irony Claxon, maybe you're watching this video in bed scrolling because you've come to the next video in the queue because of one of those brains. It's possible. Okay, so, so we are like wired to want to keep doing that and there are people trying to make sure that we don't put the phone down, that we keep engaging with the content because it's how they make that ad revenue and so on. So we are going to get less sleep because we're just constantly scrolling um, and it can just make us feel rubbish. So we started putting our phones to bed in a totally different room. We had a bedtime for our phones. We like things to be structured in our house, what can I say? Mother, mother who is autistic, child who is autistic, other family members who are, mm, we, we have a range of needs mm, mm, between us, let's say. But we like things to be structured. So the phones have a bedtime, the phones go to bed in their charging station, we go to bed about an hour later, and there's a nice little time in between. What I have found since doing this, I go to bed earlier, I get to sleep more quickly, I get into deep sleep more quickly, but also, despite the fact I'm going to bed earlier and getting more sleep, I actually have about 40 minutes in the day when I get to read a proper old-fashioned book, which I didn't really have time to do before. So I've read loads more, even though I'm getting more sleep, and I don't miss any of the, of the stuff. Um, the reason we started doing this rule was because um, we were trying to get the kids into good habits and I felt really, really hypocritical saying to them, well, you've got to put your phone to bed in a different room, but hey, here I am with mine. So um, I kind of joined in because it felt only fair and best decision ever. Consider it, it's great for your kids, great for you. I would love to hear if you've tried this, whether it's made a difference in your household to uh, do leave a comment let me know do you have any other kind of rules or guidance around use of devices or other stuff leading up to bedtime as well do comment would love to hear um, i hope that you found this a helpful idea as ever thank you for tuning in and thank you for all your support over the various social medias if you would like to support my work creating content aimed more these days at parents and carers and other supporting adults of children please consider heading to my patreon page and and signing up to support me there. Um, I love creating this content, but it's rarely commissioned. So I'm trying to create a sustainable income to, en to enable me to focus more and more time and create better and better content for you all. So thanks for your support. <laughs>